Hi, welcome back to Cad Hay. It's um, Sunday the 23rd, I think, of May. Okay, I'll show you what's been happening over the last week here. Um, okay. um, we've just put in our broccoli seedlings. There we go. Um, which we've had on our windowsill, and we noticed that some of them were starting to get a bit sun sunburnt or something, so we thought we'd better put them in. And there's onion there. Um, so this side we have sprouting early purple, which means that they'll overwinter and then we'll have broccoli, hopefully, uh, next early next year. And on this side we have sprouting calabrese, um, which I, I have to look it up again, but I think it means um, that we should get some later this year, hopefully. Uh, the one at the end there is also a sprouting early purple, which belongs to this group. No sign of the watermelon under there yet, and I was going to put a few more seeds in, because the weather's really warmed up now. Um, so it might make, may have just been that it was too cold still. Okay. Oh, I just remembered, Paul. Um, that's a line of Swedes, and, uh, and that's a line of Swedes. Just, um, Can we sort of divert the path? That, right. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have to say goodbye to the Swede. And we planted another line of radish along there. Okay, in this bed, we do, we have some baby, if you can see that, uh, baby leeks coming up. Uh, pak choy. I think that's what they are. Okay, broccoli. In here, a few broccoli. Okay, oh. And they're starting to get their real leaves, not just their cotyledon leaves, whatever they're called. Okay, bed four again, squaring pretty well. So you can see onions, lettuce, uh, radish. I'll show you how big they are at the moment. See how big we've got little radishes coming. They should be ready to pick soon. Beetroot and silver beet. Okay, got our potatoes. Um, um, corn. We took the quashes off a couple of days ago and they haven't died yet so we left a few on just to see the difference. Um, the green manure, which the, uh, these ones are supposed to be the um, green manure type. We've got our goji bush still growing. Um, I planted some more cumin because I couldn't see any coming up and or cumin, I don't know how it's pronounced and some more leek, uh, not leek, um, chives just because we have some but not as many as I really wanted there's, there's one, okay carrots coming up in a nice green row Another nice green row, and parsnips as well. Look at those rows of parsnips. We have a courgette. We took one off, one cloche off, and it's still doing all right. So we might take the other cloches off in not too long a time. Okay. Yay for Oh, and in that bed, as well as Swedes and pass, we're going to put some uh, butternut squash and put some cloches over them. Yeah. All right. That is our garden. It's looking pretty good.
not looking quite as lush and green as it all is, unfortunately. But it's, you know, it's our first attempt, so... Um, and they, theirs was already partially established, so hopefully it will be looking pretty good and green soon enough. Okay, see you. Bye.